Hey, Blessings Prayer Warriors, God bless you in this new week here, Monday, November 20th. Blessings to you and yours. Amen. God is good. He's on the throne. Things are happening. World's gone crazy. The delusion is just beyond words. You know, think about it. For two days, here's Israel. The world is supporting them two days, and then everybody not everybody, not us, amen, it's kind of against them. And you're like, what is going on? That's that spirit of delusion I've been talking about. It's not just deception, it's delusional. People don't know right from left, left from right, up from down, dark from light. It's delusional. The Bible prophesies it in Thessalonians and also there in Romans chapter one. So let's stay straight in our minds. How do we do it? Stay close to this book. What this book says is truth, and we follow truth. Amen? So today, Bible reading is James chapter 2. <clears throat> How about verse 8? If you really fulfill the royal law, according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You do well. Look at verse 13. <clears throat> For judgment is without mercy to the one who has shown no mercy, Mercy triumphs over judgment. Amen, amen, amen. God is good, all right? Okay, we got our new prayer cards. We got our prayer maps. And we got our list. Today we're praying for uh, Illinois and Indiana and Central Asia, Creative Access Nation there. And then I'll go ahead and lift up the different things as we go along. So let's go ahead and let's always start off with the great praise to our God. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, we come before you and we just give you the praise and the honor that's due your name. You are God. There is none like you. You are worthy, worthy, worthy of all praise. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to the Father. Hallelujah to the Son. Hallelujah to the Holy Spirit the blessed trinity, the three in one. Lord, as we come before you on this day and we see the moon growing a little bigger every day, it's not growing, more is being revealed from the angle of the, of the moon and the sun. And your wonders to behold, Lord, your wonders to behold. We praise you and love you, Lord. Father, I lift up these precious ones that are with me today. Lord, they're so faithful to join for this time of prayer. It's a different kind of prayer. It's not a meeting where one is praying, one is praying. I'm doing all the, the yapping here, but I know they're praying on their end. Some are on their knees right now. Some are sitting down. Some might be driving. And we're praying to the Most High God, the only true God, the creator of the ends of the earth. And we say, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So I pray for them, blessings upon them. Those that need healing in their body, Lord, I thank you that you have borne our sicknesses, you have carried our diseases, and by your stripes we were healed, not going to be healed. We see it is already done. We look back to the cross and we see Jesus taking all of our sicknesses. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. We have shalom in our life, all because of what Christ has done. And we're learning to see it happening in our lives, Lord. Father, you said without faith, it is impossible to please you. So we walk by faith and not by sight. The just shall live by faith. We live by this amazing word that you've given us. For the word of God is a living thing. It's alive. The logos of God is alive, able to penetrate spirit, soul, and body. Thank you that our spirit man is recreated, a new creation in you, and we identify with the last Adam, not the first Adam anymore. Hallelujah to you, Lord. We thank you. And as we're praying, Lord, we lift up the prayer cards that have come in this week, and we pray for the needs of fellow brothers and sisters. We pray, Lord, for needs being met, these new needs, Lord, be it healing, be it deliverance, be it uh, finances, a job, a marriage, a relationship, whatever it might be, we lift these up before you. And we just thank you ahead of time that our God, you, our Father, 
You supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And we say thank you for needs being met in Jesus' name. We lift up our play. It's a wonderful life. And we pray that many people would invite others to this non-threatening play, Lord. And we pray that people will sense the atmosphere of Christians. Just like Israel, they're sensing that it's Christians that are standing with them right now. And all these other ones, and even so-called churches that are coming against them, they know the difference, Lord. So I thank you for the evangelical Christians. Hallelujah. And we thank you for this play, Lord, that many, many will be born again. Many will be touched. Seeds will be planted, Lord. Lord, we lift up the nation of Israel. This little, little, so little, you can barely even see it on the map, surrounded by all of these nations, Lord. It's mind-boggling. <laughs> you protect them, Lord. Oh, they call them the little Satan. They call us the big Satan. No, we are children of the Most High God. And our nation, while we're still here, even though we got lots of problems, we still believe. We're still Judeo-Christian ways. And I thank you for that. We pray for Hamas. We pray that they would be defeated. They would be eliminated. I would pray, first of all, that they would come to repentance. But a lot of them, as I saw that video yesterday, as little children, their summer camp is to be taught, kill the Jews, be a martyr. Here's how you use a hand grenade. Here's how you use a gun. Here's how you go through tunnels. Oh, we pray for these children that they could be set free from this evil, evil regime of Hamas. We pray for the Gazan people that somehow, some way, they can be protected. As many as are leaving, they're, they're just thanking God to be away from these evil, evil people, Lord. So we pray for them. We lift up our world before you today, Lord. And on this 20th day, we lift up Rwanda, Burundi, Tanzania, Angola, Zambia, Malawi, Manzapik. We pray for these nations, Lord, and we just pray. So, so many of these have Christians there. These are more nations that are 26, 30 percent, 11, 23, 25, 17, 13 percent that are evangelical Christians. And we say, thank you, Lord, but they can reach out to their communities. They can reach out to their neighbors, Lord. We lift up our United States of America and we pray, God, help America. We need help, Lord. We need help. And I just thank you for help coming from where? From the church. What's the church? The body of Christ. Hallelujah. We lift up Illinois. We lift up Indiana today. And we pray, Father, for our country. We pray for those that are in authority. We pray for those that are unsaved, that they would come to repentance, Lord, that they would accept Jesus Christ is their personal Lord and Savior. We bind up the evil ones. We slow them down. And we pray for the godly that you would continue to use them. We pray that scripture is, as we see it be, being fulfilled. The heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord. Like the rivers of water, you turn it whichever way you need. And I just thank you that on Biden's heart and all the crazy stuff that he has done, that he'll continue to send supplies to Israel and not force them to go into a ceasefire. And I thank you, thank you for that. Now, Lord, we lift up civil servants as our prayer uh, focus today. We pray for them that are out there doing the great works. Lord, now we lift up different organizations. We lift up Middle East Christian Outreach, Mission Nexus, Mission America, Mission Aviation Fellowship, Mission Covenant Church, Mission Frontier, Mission of Mercy. We pray for these. We lift up Christian Faith Fellowship Church and every person on staff, every leader and father, every member, attender and guest. I pray for those in our church that have lost loved ones recently. I pray for your peace. I pray for those that need healing in their body, and I thank you for that healing. We lift up Michael. We lift up Jenna, Jenna, Barbara, and others, Lord, that are going through rough times right now. I lift up Beth before you. I lift up Karen before you, and we pray, Father, 
We lift up other churches that are preaching the gospel that we can do it all together. Get this job done and go on home. Now, Lord, as we wrap up, we give you all the praise and the glory. Again, I thank you for these that have taken time today to join me in prayer, your blessing upon them. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his confidence upon you and give you his shalom, shalom. We praise you, Lord, as we wrap up now. Joy to the Lord. Joy to the world. The Lord has come. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, blessings. You know, that song wasn't written as a Christmas song. It was written as a song about the coming of the Lord. Joy to the Lord. The Lord has come when he sets up his kingdom in Jerusalem. Woohoo! Learning new stuff every day. God bless. Have a great day.